<coughs> okay, so so what we did is we re wrote this out for number 13, um, just so we could see what was going on, what our original function told us, what our derivative told us. There's my test strip, I've got a maximum minimum. And then my second derivative tells you my concavity. From that, a graph should be pretty straightforward. 25, on the other hand, um, original information, we've got a couple of vertical asymptotes, got an x-intercept. First derivative, I went ahead and factored out a negative, or factored out a 2x. I left with this. Tells me I've got a local maximum or a minimum at zero. Do my test strip, it's a maximum. Okay. Second derivative gets a little hairy. And then what did I see here? I simplified this. I saw a common x squared minus 9, pulled that out, simplified, ended up with something like this. Has no inflection points. So here's my concavity. And from there, we should be able to do a, um, do a graph. So take what you've seen from kind of what we did here and reevaluate your last couple problems, and then we'll just uh, call it a day.